Hey Ragers, this is Rage Quit. So I have some thoughts on what I have planned for Kingdom Hearts 3. There's 180 days, may a little less, I don't know for sure, but I have some thoughts. Hang on, let's check it out. Hold on. Hold on guys, I don't think it's on this account though. Either way, there there's about 180 days left until Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, and I kind of wanted to talk about what I have planned for how this is going to all fall in and how I'm going to get to the game, meaning like how I'm going to record it or how I'm going to stream it or something. I just had some kind of, I wanted to put some thoughts into it. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's one of those scenarios where you really need to think about how you're going to do it. Because it is a new game, There, I heard that there's it's going to be nearly 50 hours to 100% 100 complete it. Like it's not like the storyline and just go with the flow. It's more of... You gotta really think outside the box and say, okay, 100% completion is more of like all the add-ons and stuff you have to do inside the game, including, for example, in this game, there is a journal. It's Jimmy's journal. And when you go to Jiminy Cricket, there is a mini game option. There's missions. There's puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces was just added in the final mix, I believe. It c I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played the original. But knowing that there's like puzzle pieces, mini games, stuff like that, to 100% complete it, all the keyblades in the game everything including like the ultimate keyblade I'm curious if the third game is gonna have an ultimate keyblade because if they don't that's gonna mess up everything because the ultimate keyblade is the best thing in the game well besides like not com comparing comparing it to the ultimate key like the most powerful keyblade without being the ultimate keyblade because the ultimate keyblade of course it has to be the top of the list because if you go without comparing the ultimate keyblade to the last keyblade you get in the game the last keyblade would be like doing all the side questing and stuff because there are certain occasions where the side questing helps out a lot with getting a better keyblade than having to craft the ultimate keyblade so <clears throat> I, this is why I'm talking about it now because knowing that this game is going to be almost nearly 50 hours to do I'm probably only doing just a storyline unless you guys want me to go through all of the game except for like if there's if the game still can gives you um, missions and stuff like that I will keep that to the side and I will 100% complete the game as of storyline and getting the all the keyblades and stuff because that game looks absolutely amazing and I want to get as much stuff out on my streaming than I can with anything else also guys if you're <laughs> Knowing that I just really wanted to use this so I didn't just consistently talk about it without having to just play some kind of game in the back, like, just having it played, I would love to just do this because it makes it more fun to talk about it. So I was thinking, I had this poll going on on um, Discord. And I really, really wanted to talk about this, this freaking poll. So, this game right here, I was trying to do the original, but it kind of failed. But it's okay. 
But um, I do still plan on doing it. I just gotta find an open version of Kingdom Hearts 2, knowing that the sealed one is right around this area. It's right next to the uh, pictures or the uh, metal thingies that I have in the background. So, I was thinking, on my second channel, I really want to do one speedrun, one attempt, or at least maybe three attempts here and there, on um, doing the this game on my second channel. I've completed this game at least a minimum of five times, maybe four. I know it's been four or five. Because I also compare the original as one of them because of course it's the same goddamn game but as the original instead of Final Mix I really wanna attempt my skills in Kingdom Hearts 2 and test it to the limit by speedrunning it I'm not going for world record guys I'm not there's no chance in hell world record was attempted with the no knowing that there is a thing on the line so that's why I'm not going to try to speed run it like as world record I'm also doing these in parts because knowing that I have no time in the world to just do the entire game all at once at least on my first attempt you guys know what I mean uh, that was my fault Kind of choked there so that's why I wanted to attempt it on my second channel and then I would upload it on my main doesn't matter how long it takes I want to I want to just damn it, I, I forgot these things you have to be the original version of Sora damn it Let's just go head back but yeah, I, I really, really recommend myself to do it. I think it would be a lot of fun. And while I'm speedrunning it, knowing that, I yes, it's considered a speedrun, even though I'm going to be talking to you guys. Kind of talking about the game and stuff like that, because a lot of people, I've actually heard, even Risky. Risky doesn't even know this, the series. So that's why I would want to kind of talk about a little bit. Hold on. I'm going to head back to the gummy ship because if I don't I'm going to run out of form and if I run out of form I'm going to have to go all the way back to Olympus Coliseum to get it so I don't have to go and farm for a drive recovery. But yeah, you can tell down below there's this thing called a drive. On the drive, you, if you run out, you go back to this version of Sora. And if you run out of drive, if you really wanted to, I, I want to show you guys this because it's really, really funny because it happened in the original as well. If you go to Olympus Coliseum, one of the main, one of the things that was on the um, trailer for the game that's coming out. And it's going to be January 31st. I'm very excited for it. If you go to this guy over here. Sorry. If you go to any of these. doesn't matter which one it is. You could also do it with Hades. If you go here. Go on, just do a random freaking drive. Revert back. You run out of drive, right? Watch that drive, okay? that one go here just wait exit out max again I don't know if that was intentional or it's just a glitch they kept in the game because in the original game it did the same damn thing and the funny part about having drive and going into one of these and just wait a second you can always wait it off just to show off how cool it looks I 
I'm just gonna wait a second. I'm gonna get it to seven. And watch this, ready? I know I showed you guys this in the last world, but I want to re-show you guys without having to race to it. If you can tell, it's back at max. So, I have a theory. I have a main theory on why they put Olympus Coliseum back in the game once again. So knowing that even though in the in the original movie they've only kept this area right here. So my theory on why they kept this Coliseum or the Olympus Coliseum in Kingdom Hearts 3. So knowing that this place was absolutely destroyed, I think the reason why is because they fix the the Coliseum because if you go right here it takes more than a brute strength to be a hero you must be a hero strong as well but sometimes if you go somewhere it always says Coliseum I guess the Coliseum is gonna have to wait a little while I don't know who said that but it was one of these little lag Damn, it's not him. He, you can still tra train. I don't know why. The place is destroyed. Except for over there, but still. There's no freaking thing over there to even do it. But yeah, that's my theory. Knowing that this place was absolutely destroyed, I'm thinking the reason why is because they want to kind of show what the Olympus Coliseum could actually look like in the future if they were to do another movie. That's my theory. You know what I mean, guys? I'm really thinking that's the reason. Because it's for treason! So, yeah. Um. So, the poll, like I was saying... It's all about speed running this game at least one attempt after getting through the entire game. It's not that long. I, I you don't, there's like two places that you mainly don't have to do, even though it's pretty much the main. This actually yes, two areas. This world right here, and also if you go here. Go to here, and you go to the book. You do not have to do this place right here, AKA Winnie the Pooh. It is um, technically, it is a main place to get the ultimate keyblade but it is not recommended to complete the entire story. You can get through all of the worlds and still get to um, the main area, AKA the world that never was, which was the top world that you guys saw in the, in the background. You can't get there without completing the story but without, if you don't want to go through like Winnie the Pooh or anything like that, you do not have to worry about um, the Little Mermaid and Winnie the Pooh. But knowing that I really want to just do all of the worlds and stuff and showcase that, I will be doing that as well. If you guys don't want to listen to Little Mermaid songs, by all means, I would recommend you just to um, check back or something because it, I really want to showcase the entire game. But if anything, I may, I may skip them and just do it as a random stream just to get through both of those. So I don't have to worry about dealing with it while doing the actual story. 
Meaning I will do those as like a side thing to get the ultimate keyblade. That's pretty much it. Like it would be like it's their mini games. It's all they are. That's the entire thing about the two the two areas. It's just mini games. So I I think that's pretty good for now. All right, that's pretty good for now. I just really wanted to talk talk to you guys and touch base on some stuff all right and if you guys want to be part of the poll saying you want me to do it or not by all means please um, state, state your mind and opinion because I think it will be a lot of fun because I grew up on this game I really tried to do it last time and it failed horribly absolutely horrible and I think it would like I said it'll be a lot of fun I can talk about a lot of the things I learned in this game and technically talk about like why I recommend this game to a lot of people that love like friendly kind of stuff like you work as a team build friends and stuff like that it's a beloved game for a lot of people who know the series there's nothing wrong with the game Yes, it's a little cringy because it's about freaking Disney characters, Disney stuff. A lot of people don't like Disney, but it's not just talking about the movies and stuff. It's talking about like throwing all the movies into a game that works off of like if you get controlled by the darkness, there's nothing you can do to stop it sometimes. But yet there's always light that always back off of the back off the darkness and kind of help somebody get out of the mood of becoming de de like depression. So I would say if you were to let's talk about the person that starts with an H. Not saying the name, but the person who killed a lot of um you know what's he was let's just say he was controlled by darkness and it, and he went out of control and he couldn't stop himself and he ended up killing people that's the way i would see it like you can get controlled by the darkness so badly that there's nothing you can do to stop it and that's the whole point of this game it's super confusing but if you wanted to actually give this game a shot after I showcase this game, if you guys want me to, by speedrunning it, because the storyline is confusing like I was trying to say before I ended up jumping to something else by accident, go by the storyline. I'll even talk about the storyline really quick if while we're talking, while, we're, while you guys are watching and I'm talking about stuff and stuff like that, but... I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be part of the poll because I want your guys' input. And I'll see you guys tonight on my second channel. It's Infamous Heroes. If you guys want the link, I, I, I don't want to look for it right now. But go to my most recent stream and it's there. And I'll see you guys then, okay? And Rage Quit. Out!